but I didn't want to make a fool of myself. No one, and then they really made a big thing of it, especially back in Bill Dance and Tom Land and Roland Martin's day when they were young, a little bit younger, and they come up dragging their bag, and so Greenhorn would be coming up with a little thing that's just about measure or no fish at all, and it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling, I'll tell you. That's a question over here. Let me, let me get to this right. I said. Right. Um, um, when you're done fishing for the day, the proper care of your fishing, you're going to like to sit. On the saltwater fishing, which is the hardest water on any kind of equipment, when you get home, do what I do when I'm saltwater fishing, take the real off. Have a bucket of water and put strength to the line and everything. Put it in the water. Let it lay there for an hour or so. Okay? After you take it out, if there's a good hot sun, that's even better. Let it dry good. So when you hold it up, there's no more dripping out of it. You then re oil it to the best you're built. Okay? That's maybe I'm, I'm telling you wrong, but it works for me. And I don't see all that pivoting or whatever you call it. You know, well, that's called the bus and stuff like that. I think that's what I term. Ferocious, thank you. <laughs> Salt water is me, I'll tell you. But but you'll you'll feel so much more comfortable and your equipment will last so much longer. If you put it in buckets of water. This hosing it down, all my friends do that. They come back with their big boats and their yachts and they just hose everything down. No, no that's not good enough. Get that real Yes, sir. I have a couple of them. Uh, number one, you're not Make it easy now. <laughs> you're non-slipping loop. Have you ever tried that on an articulated Rapala? I've got a gold and black articulator. I don't know if it's number 11, but I've had it forever. Never used it. Is that the broken back? That's the yeah. one. Right, right, right. Okay. Yes, yes. I, to be honest with you, I don't fish too much with a broken back. I have them. Um, I like a broken back when I can cast it out, my fish are schooling, or I know they're in open water, and I love that action, you know, going through the water. But yes, I would still answer your question as intelligent as much as possible uh, that I can. I would still go with the non swimming loop because I like the way it can move. You know, it's not, it's not limited to just, you know, just going straight or a little left to the right. Now it's going to kick up. And with that broken back, Maybe I need to spend some more time doing that myself. Because you just refreshed my mind. I, I kind of like that. The broken back and the non slipping loop. Well, I'm going to tell you that dude for 12 years ago. Well, if you try what we're talking about, you catch a big fish, you make sure you call me. I will. Because yeah. I'll get on the bandwagon myself. Number two. Yeah. Do you have any home remedies for uh, mosquito or bug repellent? Like SOS or uh, Listerine mouthwash or any of those things you hear about that are reasonably priced? You know, mosquitoes are not one of our favorite blessings, okay? And I thank God that I got away from the night fishing because the night fishing could kill you sooner or later. Because some of these mosquitoes are carrying a lot of poison because they they, they stuck a, a sick cat. You know, my first month here in Citrus County, we had three te teenagers. This goes back in the 70s. Some of you have been here that long. You probably remember the write-up and everything in TV. We had three teenage boys that I think two of them got bit on the practice field, on the football field. They died within 48 hours because of, 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 of an infected mosquito that bit them. And, and another one, did I say the football field? Yeah. yeah. And then there was another one, I don't know where he said, I forgot. But I do, but I was a big thing here, you know? And uh, all I can tell you is all the good stuff that the people tell me to put on, it doesn't work for me. What do you okay. use? I put my long sleeve shirt on, no matter how hot it is. I have a hat that's got the built-in net, and that's what you want, my friend. That beautiful light net. That, you know, they make it professional. Right. It comes right on it. You'll never have a problem. I'll guarantee you one thing. You'll go out of your way to shake my hand the next time you see me if you try that. Because I did it already when I had this older guy that I thought he was talking out of his ears. <laughs> uh, I'll take one step further than that too. I try to do everything humanly possible to stay away from night fishing. Because I don't like what I've seen on these boat ramps. I'm talking about cottonmouths. 
I don't like the way that they fly in a bear's boat at night. Uh, just the other day, I'm walking the Kitpon right in the middle of, of the, uh, the pad that's concrete. It's one about three, three and a half foot, a cottonmouth, and thank God he stayed here long enough for me to get an oar and hit him on the head and I kill him. You know, the other big got mosquitoes and masks that jump in the daytime. It doesn't have to be well, were they the ones that carry you away too, I heard, or something like that? Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing over this area. God bless Tex Regiment. I love it. That is, I guess a lot of you see here once in a while. Superb, I'll tell you. Listen, I want to thank you. We're about to wrap it up. Anybody else have a question? Yes, ma'am. Uh, not a question, and I haven't tried it myself, but I've heard that the Kitpon It's supposed to repel the mosquitoes, but they just don't like the smell of it. Static clean. You might want to wrap one around your neck or something right. in your pocket. <laughs> they advertise that on TV, and I, I believe it was <coughs> in one of the magazines, yeah. but I haven't tried it myself yet. Like I just mentioned, mm. man, I love the Kitpon. 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 I love the and they love ones, if it's a, a big program where I usually go at, they love concrete because concrete holds the heat. And a cottonmouth loves to lay on that. And here I had one right there in my driveway the other day. <laughs> this is the time of year that you really got to think a little bit before you act. Don't go running off the road real fast. If you get a flat tire, you make sure you check the shoulder on that road, road real good because this is when your snakes are moving right now. Especially your water snakes, and especially the cotton man, because he can hurt you. Listen, 